One thing that modern church culture has done that I, and as far as I know some of you are not too crazy about, is making this idea that you have to feel God being with you, and if you can't feel God, and therefore he must not actually be with you. And the reason why I'm not too crazy about this idea, and it's really more of a sentiment than anything else, nobody really gets behind a stage or a pulpit and says something like, if you don't feel God, then God's not with you. Nobody would dare say something as foolish as that, at least I hope not. But what that sets up in many Christians' minds and lives is this idea that if I cannot feel if I cannot detect the presence of God, then I guess God is just not with me. And that's an issue because there are a lot of days whenever we are absolutely mentally and emotionally numb and we cannot feel anything. And what some Christians get from this is the idea that maybe God is not with me in this moment. Again, this isn't something that we would ever dare say out loud because we're a people of faith. And that is true, I hope that we all are, but at the same time, there are not days, or there are days when we don't feel the way that we think that we should be feeling. And times like that is whenever we abide in the truth, in what the Bible says. A Christian lifestyle is not a lifestyle based off of emotions, although emotions are not wrong. A natural response to the presence of God overtaking a church is crying a lot of the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, we don't abide in Christ simply because we feel him. We abide in Christ because we know him. Somebody gets on a stage and sings the Waymaker Bridge for 16 minutes, even when I don't feel it, you're working, and you know, we feel that all day long. But when you think about it, what do we do in those moments when we cannot feel God working? Can we remain content with the idea that He is still working in our lives? Jesus would say in John 5:17, as a response to criticism that he received from some of the uh, Jews that he had healed a man on the Sabbath, he simply says to them, my father is working until now and I am working. That's all he says. In other words, the Lord is always on the move. The Lord is always working. Whether you want him to or not, God is always doing something. Whether or not you feel like it's a proper time for him to be moving or something like that, he's still moving. The Bible is a book that is filled with one story, one account after the other, one experience after the other where somebody is going through something absolutely despairing, when somebody is going through a sincere season of suffering. And what gets them through that is not their emotions, it's not their feelings, it's not some big psychological maneuver, but it is simple dependence and trust in the Lord and who he is and what he's done. I know Jesus every day. I didn't just know Jesus when I first got saved. I know him now, even when I don't feel him. So in the seasons of suffering and grief, the seasons of anguish, Faith is exactly the same because God is exactly the same. He's exactly the same now on my worst day as he was yesterday or whenever my best day was. God is exactly the same.